For the first time in the Xfinity Center in 2023, Maryland took a win 3-2 over Coastal Carolina. The Terps started out hot, winning the first two sets, but the Chanticleers came fighting back and took the next two before Maryland ultimately won the fifth. The Terp offense was impressive tonight, recording 65 kills, which is a new season high. The game started well for Maryland as they jumped out to an early lead. The Terps won the first set easily, 25 to 16, with help from seven kills. The second set was a more back and forth affair, but the Terps relied on their offense once again to win 25-23. I mean, it's kind of interesting that we've changed identities a little bit. You know, I thought we, we missed some blocking opportunities tonight and, um, you know, don't want to get rid of our identity as being a really good defensive team. But our, our mojo has kind of flipped a little bit to being more of an offensive team. You know, we're, we're um, doing really well offensively in kills per set and um, the distribution has been very good. So, yeah, it's kind of fun as a coach to see us we win in different ways. Both Sam Sire and Layla Ricks had huge nights on the offense, recording 13 kills each. The Terps struggled in the third, especially on the defense. Coastal Carolina jumped out to an early lead and held it to take the set 25-23. They then took that momentum into the fourth, but the Terps fought back yet ultimately lost 27-25 after two match points. I thought actually in the fifth we were able to slow them down. You know, they were hitting, I think, 400 in the second, another 300 in the third, and then the fifth I think we held them to about 100. So it was a big like defensive effort to finish it. But realistically, um, you know, the offense is kind of leading the way right now. The fifth set continued to be tight with big plays on both sides. The Turks recorded eight more kills in the fifth, including the game winner from Sydney Dowler. <laughs> pretty natural for me. Um, it's just kind of like an instinctual thing. I I was dishing the ball around, you know, Eva had a chance, we covered her, Sam had a chance, we covered her, and the next ball just happened to be right there, and I was like, I think I can do this thing. Sydney had a huge night with five kills and 57 assists. It was over as soon as it was at the net. As soon as she jumped and had her arm back, I was like, this thing's over. Maryland takes on Princeton tomorrow at 2.30 in the Xfinity Center, where they look to go 2-0 in the Maryland tournament. They will then be back home September 22nd, hosting Purdue for their first Big Ten matchup of the season. For Terrapin Sports Central, I'm Jesse Schwartz.